So for this next box, what I'm doing is I am placing the dots still about the same size. I'm being careful about where I'm putting them. I'm just placing them closer together. I'm making sure I get all the way up to the edge of the box. And I want an overall consistent spacing of dots. When I compare those two and I kind of blur my eyes, I should be able to see a difference in value. This one's slightly darker. So I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm generally trying to match the examples underneath. Then what I'm doing is I'm going to work on optical blending, which is really the crux or the heart of pointillism. Pointillism is when you take those two different colors and you put them side by side and they're going to create a new color when your eye blends them together. So up here I have some general notations of what colors to mix together. When you're finished with these you do not want to have much of the white paper showing so you want it to be pretty close together. The other thing I recommend is that you place um, the lighter color first. So I have red and I have blue Red's a little bit lighter than blue, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to consistently space all the red dots. Then I'm going to come back with blue dots in between. Then I'm going to come back with red, then blue, until I have most of the spaces filled in. So each time I'm switching colors, I do want to make sure that the dots are consistently spaced. It is okay if my blue tot dot touches my red dot. That's going to happen when I cover most of the paper. Do want to get all the way up to the edge. So I just like to hold both markers in one hand and then I can go back and forth. So now I'm getting the red dots a little bit closer together. It's a controlled dot. I'm thinking about where I'm placing it. It is a random pattern, but I am being very mindful about how close or far apart those dots are. So as I look at it and I, as I kind of blur my eyes, it's still I still see the separate colors. So I'm going to continue to come back, switching between blue and red until I have a consistent value and a consistent color across that box. I'm being neat, using good craftsmanship, controlled stipple dot, getting all the way up to the edge. So as I look at that and as I kind of blur my eye, about done, it looks a little lighter in the center here. So I'm going to add a few more red dots. <clears throat> mm. All right, don't forget to get all the way up to the edges. I think I'm done with that one. Then I'm going to go on to the next one. Green and brown together. Usually, remember, I'm going to put the lighter color down first, so I'm going to do all the green and then brown in between. Move on to yellow and red, orange and blue, blue and yellow. So once I'm done with that, then it's time to look at the transitional values underneath. 